In preparation for the September 28 local government election in the state, the Anambra Independence Electoral Commission ANSIAC has released a timetable and schedule of activities for conduct of the poll. The commission announced this release during the stakeholders' meeting held in Oka. Correspondent Chibuzo Obidike filed in this report. That attended the meeting included bishops, commissioner for local government, chieftaincy and community affairs, members of the Anambra State Traditional Rulers Council, chairman, Anambra State House of Assembly Committee on Election and Population Matters, representatives of Anambra State Local Government Service Commission, Nigerian Union of Journalists, civil society organizations and union leaders. The chairman of ANSIE, Magistrate Genevieve Osakwe, revealed that stakeholders plays a pivotal role in the success of any election and pointed out that with the passage of Anambra State's Electoral Law 2024 and the inauguration of the board of the Anambra State Independent Electoral Commission, all is now set for the conduct of the local government elections in the state. According to the ANSIEC chairman, the commission has been working tirelessly day and night to see to the success of election, but recognizes the importance of involving critical stakeholders in the discussions to address key issues that must be communicated to Indianambra in ensuring that the elections are free, fair, and credible. She said the engagement is crucial to help the commission gather insights, identify critical success factors, and explore value-added opinions that will help them achieve their objectives. Magistrate Osakwe assured that the commission has rigorously stepped up plans for top-notch security map, especially in major red flags of the state, and expressed confidence that with collective efforts and the unwavering support of Indianambra, who are the true beneficiaries of the electoral process, they can accomplish the vital task. So we are here at the offices of Anambra State to serve the good of Anambra State. I am confident and we are confident it's going to be free and it's going to be fair and it's going to be credible. Responding, the traditional ruler of Olumbanasa in Anambra West Council area, Igwe Payos Omachonu, and one of the stakeholders, Mr. Sopluchuku Onwoka, appreciated the giant efforts of the commission and that of Governor Chuku Masoludo, who have remained committed to ensuring that the state joins other states in the country in achieving substantial council chairmen for massive grassroots development. They encourage the state electorate to show active participation in electing quality and productive leaders that will collaborate with the state government for rapid growth of the state. <laughs>